Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for whenever it resonates. So, let's just see what we got. We got these that flipped, or we're going to take them. July. So, the month of July is prominent. You may also be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo. But somehow, something that either happened in a previous July is going to show up this uh, during this time. Or uh, upcoming July is when things are really going to heat up. Could be both, okay? Um, but July is very prominent. Ladder. Climbing towards success. So you are climbing towards success. Jug, lighthearted, carefree time. So it's a lighthearted, carefree time. Um, you're climbing towards success. You're climbing the ladder. Looks very positive. July is a very warm, at least in my hemisphere. So it's a very warm, uh, beautiful, uh, sunny time. Um, happy. So, I mean, this looks good so far. You are climbing the ladder. Oh, we got two. Ah. Angel protection in time to set new goals. <clears throat> time to set new goals. Angel, you are protected. You are, do not doubt your abilities in any way. Okay? If you have any doubts about you climbing the ladder, say for example, you don't have a college degree. You don't need a college degree to be successful. As far as I'm concerned, there are just as many people that don't have college degrees that are just as successful as people that do. I, heard, I read a comment the other day. It said, I have a college degree. That automatically makes me smarter. Is that some kind of a sick joke? That's not true experience makes you smarter time makes you smarter hard work makes you smarter there are so many people out there with college degrees that aren't even doing what they went to school for i used to work for a major corporation that uh the people that got out of college they jumped into the positions they didn't know shit So do not let any of that hinder you, okay? It's kind of like when they had that show uh, with Donald Trump. I'm not sure what it was. It was a, whatever it was. The Apprentice. And sometimes they'd have the street smarts versus the book smarts. Same thing. There is nobody that is better than anybody. For some reason, I need to tell you this. Anyhow, what do we have for Scorpio? Climbing the ladder. Don't worry. Right? Light-hearted, carefree time. You, everybody has the skills inside them to succeed if they want to. Change in living situation. Change in living situation. So there is, and we have time to set new goals. It's interesting because we have angel protection here. Four, four, four on the bottom. Fours is an angel number. This is angel protection, universal protection. So there's angels that are guiding you up the ladder, up the ladder. So you're going up the ladder, but it may require a change in living situation. Okay. And sometimes I often call and I did my, for quite some time in my life, my job, my second home. It's interesting that we're talking about the job. So this really has to do with job. It may have to do with relationships as well. But when I would go to work, that became my second home. That was my second family, you know. 
Um, and I did not have a college degree and I worked my ass right up to the top of that department. And everybody else around me did. So anyhow, um, change in living situation, whether it's your job or it's your relationship, okay? There probably is gonna be a change in your living situation. It's time to set new goals. All I gotta do is set that goal, right? I don't know why I'm so adamant about telling you all this. There's angel protection here, so I wonder if, and I got chills, so I wonder if there's angels that are guiding you out of a situation that is unhealthy for you. You're supposed to have a carefree life. I ended up quitting that job, made really good money, and here I am living a good life. Anyhow, what do we have for Scorpio? This is about being at ease, at ease. You don't need to be in a stressful situation. Ten of Swords reversed, Eight of Swords reversed, Ace of Wands reversed, and on the bottom we have Death. <coughs> so this is the end of a stressful situation, extremely stressful. I feel like uh, breaking free, an obstacle being removed. You've been in a situation that where there's been some sort of betrayal or there's been some sort of suffering. This is liberation. We have freedom here. Two cards. Breaking free from some sort of situation that has caused you a lot of mental turmoil. There's some sort of abuse here. It feels like you've been you've been stabbed over and over and over again. You know, you've been uh, wearing a blindfold, allowing yourself to be abused by something or somebody. This is an obstacle being removed. There's been some sort of suffering. This is liberation. It's freedom. There's no growth. There's no there's no desire to be in this. This is going downhill fast, right? This is uh, something not working out, not coming to fruition, dashed expectations. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. It's time to get out of this situation. There's been some lies. There's been betrayal. It feels like everything, I don't know if you're, you're getting blamed for things. That's what it feels like to me. I feel like uh, something to do with work for a lot of you. Something isn't working out. This is like... You thought it was going to work out. It's not working out. There's an, there's an ultimate betrayal here. So we do have an ending. This is the end of a situation, a separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning. There's an obstacle that is being removed. Rejection is God's protection. So keep that in mind. Um, fool, starting over from scratch. This is doing something risky, leaving it all behind. So you may be leaving something behind where there's no attraction to it. There's no desire. There's no growth. You've been trapped in this situation. It's been holding you back. It's like you've been a victim. It's like living in prison. It's like you're being controlled, right? This is it. So something is happening that is breaking you free. We have freedom, freedom, freedom. So we got freedom a couple times. So breaking free from some sort of situation. So there is freedom here. Leaving it all behind. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is extreme happiness. It's bliss. It really is. It's wish fulfillment. It's leaving it all behind, stepping into abundance. So having plenty. By, but this is a card of faith. You have to have faith. If, if you're willing to leave it all behind, you'll have abundance. But you just have to have faith, okay? You have to have faith. I do see you leaving something behind, starting a new spiritual journey that is going to make you extremely happy. Okay, there is a new spiritual journey here that is going to make you extreme. You're going to have plenty, but you got to let go of your fears because this is let go of the fear let go, and step into that unknown territory, even not knowing what it's going to bring. So I feel like you do need to set new goals. You have to have faith that there's angels around. There is definitely angels around. I feel like they're trying to guide you to go, just go, just go. This is one of your life lessons, right? To have faith. Anyhow, um, 
And this is a lighthearted, carefree time. It's like, just do it. Just have faith. Just do it. If, you're, if you've been thinking about it, but you've let fear get in the way, you've been abandoned, you've been neglected, you've been betrayed, you know, you've been staying in this situation, sometimes you've got to step into unknown territory. you just got to do it. Even if people think you're crazy. High Priestess. Now, this is definitely a new spiritual journey, embarking on a new spiritual journey, developing your spiritual gifts, listening to your intuition, listening to your gut. I feel like you know that it's time to go. I think that you have been guided. I feel like you, uh, you know, you know, you know it's time to go. I feel like you're, you, you know, you know it's time to start over from scratch. But I feel like... There's a lot of fear. You gotta let go of that fear. Ah, sun card reversed. So sun card reversed is unhappiness. It's false impressions. It's pretending to be happy. It's confusion. It's darkness. It's lack of growth. You have to leave behind the darkness. You have to leave behind the unhappy situation. There's no growth on both sides. Okay, it's like you you know that this is not going anywhere. You have to leave behind a dark situation where there's no emotional fulfillment. There could be an illusion. It's like leaving behind something that is an illusion. Okay, I feel like you you need to be honest with yourself. There's disillusionment here. That's the sun card reverse. That's disillusionment. That's that's darkness. Okay, in the dark. You have you have to come out of the darkness. You have to step into that light. You have to go after wish fulfillment. You have to have faith. You have to have faith. You have to believe. You have to listen to your gut. I feel like you know that it's time for you to leave something behind, but you're really struggling to remove the fear. Okay, you're struggling to listen to your gut and you're struggling to accept something because that's lack of acceptance. Knight of Swords re or Wands reversed. I don't know why I said swords. Knight of Wands reversed is just do it. But again, we have the Ace of Wands reversed as well. So that's like fear. Fear. Fear of taking a new approach thinking too much just do it just do it there's something that you know you need to do and you're ignoring it because of fear or because you're trapped in some sort of mental turmoil and you're not seeing something clearly there could be disillusionment here you need to leave behind the disillusionment okay there's something that in order to have wish fulfillment and happiness, you have to stop, okay? You have to stop allowing yourself to stay in situations that feel comforting to you, but they're not. This is the ultimate betrayal. It is. Rejection is God's protection. If somebody rejected you or they've abused you or they've caused you all this mental turmoil, you have to find your inner strength. You have to find your courage. And I don't need the strength card. You have, to, you have to find your way out of this dark situation. You do. You need to take action. You need to act now. You need to just go. Just do it. Believe in yourself. Have faith in yourself. Ooh, ooh, two of cups, reverse. That's a separation. That's parting ways. You have to separate and detach from somebody that doesn't have any staying power. This person is probably aggressive. You know, they come and go. They come around, then they leave, then they come around, then they leave. You know, this person is fly by the seat of their pants. They don't invest for very long. I feel like they brought you happiness at one time, but they but it comes and goes just as quickly. I mean, it, it leaves just as quickly as it comes. I feel like you need to detach yourself from this partnership, okay? You know that you do. 
You know that you do. This, whoever this person is, they act recklessly, okay? They don't have any staying power. They're not looking for a commitment. They're not committed to the situation. And it's definitely time for you to go. I feel like you've suffered long enough. I feel like it's time for a new life, right? It's time for a new life. This is the birth of a new life. This is, this is uh, abundance, health, wealth, a blessing, a miracle. There is protection here. I feel like you are in the process of giving birth to a new life. But in, it's, a, it's a transformation. I mean, we had the death card. But the death card is separation and loss that leads to a new life. So you have to completely detach from somebody that, I don't know if it's just a lust, it's just lust and maybe you were disillusioned and thought it was love. I mean, I don't see any love in these cards, not even any. This is an abundance of love, but it starts with yourself. It's a mother's love and a mother has to take care of her children and you have to be your own mother. You have to take care of yourself. You have to mother yourself. So anyhow, um, there, is a, there is love here. There is love at the end. Because this is at the end. At the end of this journey, right? This is a, there is a new journey that is beginning. There is a new journey that is beginning. I feel like you are div being divinely guided. You are being divinely guided to wake up from whatever this disillusionment is and step into unknown territory this will lead you to wish fulfillment but detaching from a partnership with somebody that doesn't stick around ever that you have been tied to for some reason has to happen Good luck.